Greetings to the members of the Women in Global Health community. Greetings to our supporters, our allies. It is with great privilege I share with you today our 2023 policy priorities. Again, I am Dr. Rupa Dot, the Executive Director and Co-Founder of Women in Global Health. 2023 is a very interesting year for global health. Um, it is a stark reminder that we still continue to face wide uh, health inequities, especially based on gender. And this is the year that we know that global health is on top of the agenda as we go into the fourth year of the COVID-19 pandemic. In 2023, health will also continue to be at the center stage of the global political level as heads of governments, head of states and heads of governments will meet on three health-related um, UN high-level meetings to take global action on universal health coverage, on pandemic preparedness and response, and on tuberculosis. We know that the pandemic has devastated economies and health systems and deepened the inequality between and within countries, especially gender inequality. 2023 will be an opportunity for the world to regroup, to take stock, and get global health goals back on track. Women in global health will be advocating for investing in gender transformative change as the only way to secure strong health systems and future global health security. There will be no compromise on gender equity and global health. And in 2023, women in global health will be focusing on five main priorities. First, gender equal and diverse leadership in global health must be based on gender transformative leadership. We wanna see equal leadership for women in health. And we see that equal leadership for women in health is not a luxury, it will drive better health for all. Number two, we are calling for a new social contract for women, health, and care workers. Women make up majority of the health workforce, yet they continue to face gender-based inequalities and burnout. They need fair pay, safe and decent work, and workplaces free from all forms of harassment. Number three, we are calling for a gender-responsive universal health coverage. We know that gender responsive universal health coverage will transform the health and lives of billions of people, especially women and girls. Number four, gender equity and health emergency preparedness and response is a must. Gender equity is central to strong preparation and response to health emergencies. We must learn from COVID-19 and not make the same mistake. And number five, we call on movements and alliance building for gender equality and global health. We need to resist the backlash on gender equality and the rights of women and girls because gender equality is global health, creates stronger health systems and global health security. So on that note, these are our five policy priorities. We look forward to working with all of you, our community of 44 plus chapters, our partners from all around the world, and we invite all of you to join us for collective action as we persist and as we continue to really push back against the pushback on gender equality. Thank you.